everyone, Dr. Chris here, and I'm gonna talk about a heart today. So yes, this is an actual real, well, I don't wanna say live because it's passed on heart. So in case you guys don't know what an actual heart looks like, it's a big actual piece of muscle. And one of the things exercise does is actually to help train this muscle. So you notice how like these thick walls that you see over here, these are the parts that actually, this is called your left ventricle. This is the thing that actually pumps heart uh, blood to your body. Really, really cool thing that you wind up seeing. So a couple of things that the heart is actually good for. A lot of people hear you need a strong heart, but a lot of people don't actually know what the strong heart does. So number one, uh, it actually has a lot of different functions. One, it actually decreases the risk of, or uh, the advancement of cognitive decline. So you actually have what you would call a younger brain. Uh, so you actually keep your brain uh, better everything for a little bit longer. Uh, it's how you think, how you uh, have to go through all your cognitive functions. Uh, two, decrease risk of heart attack, myocardial infarction. Uh, what happens is with exercise, you decrease the amount of black inside your arteries, which are like blocking things, and your arteries become more elastic and it keeps the elasticity to them so that actually you can pump blood a lot easier. Uh, three, one of the cool ones, uh, you develop something called anastomoses. So on the front of the heart, you actually have little tiny lines right here, and those are like different uh, blood vessels. So what anastomies are is that they are actually like little capillary networks that develop in between blood vessels. And the cool thing about those is that in case one part of the blood vessel uh, fails, like an artery, especially like a left anterior descending, uh, one of the things that happens with that is if that happens, it's called the widow maker, you die. So by having these anastomies, it allows blood from other uh, arteries to go to that part of the heart to still supply it so you can actually stay alive uh, in case there is a bar blockage or a partial blockage. And cool thing with it too, when you exercise, one of the things that happens with the heart, by keeping this strong, you develop more energy. Uh, what happens inside some of your cells, you develop more of these things called mitochondria with inside the cells, and they produce something called the adenosine triphosphate, which gives you energy. So what winds up happening is that you actually, from exercise, you get more energy for more exercise and just throughout the day so you won't be as tired. So cool thing about heart health and what it can do for you.